Hi there. How are you today? It's my goal to bring awareness. My passion is to bring awareness for people that have been used for the green card or people that have been sought out to be used for the green card. It's my goal to bring awareness to this particular subject because I have such a passion for it because I've known so many people who have been used for the green card only to be left after the, the perpetrator has gotten their green card, left, been abused, their finances been used, um, their heart's been broken. It is such a crime to do this to another individual, but yet it happens all the time. So my goal is to bring awareness and to show the red flags on so somebody else won't get hurt. My goal is to tell your story to help get healing for you and to help to get justice. Immigration can't do any much if you um, have, if the person, if you've already been married and the person ha has their green card and um, they have divorced you. Immigration can't do much after that. My goal is to change the immigration laws so that the age difference is, is less, less than 12 years. I heard that they were trying to change the law, but I haven't seen it come into effect yet. My goal is to show you the red flags. But first of all, I want to say I am so sorry to the people that this has happened to, the people that have been used for the green card, the people whose lives have been turned upside down because you went into this marriage believing the scammer and the abuser that they loved you and that they wanted to spend the rest of their lives with you. I want to apologize and tell you I am deeply sorry that this happened to you. It is a crime. It is a crime. It's a fraudulent crime against you and our country, the United States of America. And it's a crime in other countries also. So I want to bring the awareness to the public to let them know what red flags to look for, to let them look at the age different, let them look at the religious differences, let them um, look at the people that are already here in this country that are here illegally because their visas have expired, their work visa or their tourist visa or their student visa has expired and they're looking for someone to get married to. Look at that as a red flag. And the people who are in a tourist country and they have met someone there and the, the person is older and they want you to, they want to have a relationship with you. Look at that as a red flag. If you go to the website of these foreign countries, it tells you right on the website to beware of scammers. Okay. I want to bring awareness to the people who are chatting online in various places like Facebook and Instagram and other uh, websites. Um, even there, these perpetrators are even going to um, dating sites like Match.com and Plenty of Fish and grabbing people that way. I want to bring awareness to things to look for. And mostly, I want to tell your story if it's happened to you so I can help bring healing to you and your family. So if you'd like me to tell your story, to seek justice for you, and to help heal your heart, I am so willing to do that. I want to bring awareness. I want to crack this down. I want to prevent it from happening to people because it happens so much. Nine times out of 10, these fraudulent marriages do not work. These people are, are here to use you. They're here to, to seek out people who are older, people who are more well-established to so they can stay in this country, so they can use you, so they can make money and send money back home to their country to help their families. Because desperate people do desperate things. I want to bring awareness. Those of you that I've seen so many of these women convert to Islam, they're wearing the hijab and they're converting. They don't know what they're getting into. They're doing it just to, to please the guy, hoping that they'll stay with them. Nine times out of ten, ladies, they don't, okay? They tell you that they don't want kids because you're older and you can't have kids. After they divorce you, they're going to marry somebody from their own country, somebody their own age, bring them here and have a family with them. Their family's involved also. 
They're sending money back home to their family. You know that their families want them to have kids. Their parents want them to have grandkids. Come on, look for all these red flags, people. Men, gentlemen, these young girls, they're after you. Yes, they're cute. They're sexy or whatever. Don't let your loins get involved. They're only going to stay with you for a short time till they get what they want. I've heard people actually say, oh, you... You should just be with them for a couple of years and have great sex and enjoy it. No, who wants to, yeah, you want to have great sex, but who wants to have their heart broken and be used and abused? No, most people's hearts are good and they want to um, be loved and they want to have a great relationship to last a lifetime. Most people don't want to be used. So think about it, people. If you want me to tell your story, leave your comments below. And again, I'm really, really sorry that this has happened to you. My heart reaches out to you, goes out to you. I know you're broken. And it's so painful in many areas, in many areas. It is a deceptive lie. So if you want me to tell your story, leave your comments below. I'd be happy to. And let's bring awareness Let's seek justice. Let's change the laws with immigration. Do the right thing. Make good choices. Look out for the red flags. And until next time, bye for now.